Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do group anagrams lead code problem and this problem has been really popular at some of the companies where I want to get a job. There are companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, Google, Affirm, Snapchat, Goldman Sachs, Uber, Bloomberg, Netflix, Instacart, ByteDance and Twitter have already asked this question. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and basically we are given an array of different strings and we need to group the anagrams together. Now we can return the answer in any order so which is good for us and we are also given the definition that what is an anagram. Anagram is a word or a phrase that is formed by rearranging the letters uh, and then it turns out to be a different word. So if we take an example suppose we are given a word like bat then we can say that these all are actually anagrams of this original word bad because the B, A and T, they are all occurring in all of them in the same number of occurrence that it, it is present in this bat. So now after understanding that what an anagram is, let's try to see some examples to understand that what this question is asking us to do and what is the expected answer we, we need to return. If we take this first example, essentially we are given S is equal to array of string that looks like this. Now over here I have clearly marked all the groups that can be potentially done in separate colors so you can clearly look at them. Uh, but the thing is let's try to understand so first of all we are given this word e a t eat if we see the what are the number of occurrences of characters there are characters e a and t occurring one times each now same thing happens for this word t e a t and for this word a t e eight which means we can conclude that all of these three words are actually anagrams of each other and we can group them together in one single group so that we are now we are done with all of these three elements now Next item we see there are two words tan and net again T A N this all all three of them are occurring once these three characters for both of these uh, values so we can also group them together now for this B A T bat we actually don't have any other value that we can consider it as an anagram so this uh, particular string will be a group of itself which means in this case we can answer we can return an answer that looks like this and we can return this as an answer so clearly you would find that this answer actually the sequencing is done slightly bit different than what is the answer given in this output and the reason for doing that is that I wanted to show that we can return answer in any order so that is the important part over here that that is specified in the question that we can return the answer in any order so that's why I ordered them differently but as long as the groups are correct we are good to go one better way to solve this problem is actually by using sorting and how we are going to use the sorting is that we are actually going to create another array for every single entry that is present inside this original s and for all the elements that are present over here we are going to actually sort them in alphabetical order and then all we have to do is just we will have to iterate over this newly created array once and we only need to find that what are all the similar pairs or all the similar values and then we can simply return them as answer and that that makes our life much more easier let me quickly show you what I'm suggesting so based on this array we will actually clear actually create a sorted array and the sorted array is going to look something like this so now we have created our sorted array and the which we have derived from this original s now all we will have to do is we pick up any word or any uh, string then we just have to compare with all the other strings and uh, find that which strings contains the same value whichever string contains the same value we will take their values from the original string because we know that their index values and then we can group them together so the idea is first of all we will take this uh, string a e t then we find that okay this and this both of them though, so the strings located at position 0 1 and 3 they are all part of this original uh, string that should be in the single group so we will group them together so in the answer we will mention eat t and 8 as one group then again we will repeat the same process so we find this ant and ant so again we will group the whatever values located at this uh, string at this index 2 and 4 and for we find the values 10 and net and in the end we will return this bat because it's the single one so this solution would work fine we will get our desired answer if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n log n just to create this uh, original sorted string multiply by k and this k is actually the biggest length of the string that we will have to compare and uh, this would be the final time complexity so this is much bigger improvement than our brute force approach which was giving us the big o of n cube time complexity now let's see that can we improve any further in this one as well 
Okay, before we come to the optimal solution, we will have to ask a very important question that how do we determine that any two words are anagram of each other or not? Suppose we are given two words like A, B, C and C, B, A. We can clearly see that they are actually anagrams of each other. But how can we explicitly define that yeah, they are truly anagrams of each other? Well, we can define that based on the number of character repetition in each one of them. That any character that is present in this ABC, it is also present in the CBA in the exact same number of occurrences that both in, in both the words. So in other words, uh, A, B and C is present exactly once in this particular word and it is also exactly once present in this particular word though the arrangement is different and that makes them anagram of each other. Now you will ask that why am I dragging so long on this pretty trivial question that we already know the answer to. Well, we are actually going to use it to our advantage and uh, the good thing for us is that English language only has 26 characters. So because English language has the 26 characters, we are actually going to use it to, to our advantage. We are actually going to create an array of all the values that are initially uh, located at zero and that is going to be of size 26. Now any character that we identify in any single string, we are actually going to add it to our array and we are going to increase the value of that particular character sequence. And then whatever the answer of that, carry is, uh, that array is, we are going to put it in a string and then we are going to use it as a key for our hashing hash map. Uh, hash map. And then we are going to do some interesting things. So let's let me quickly show you that what is the full plan. Suppose over here we are given an array that looks like this, right? Now we need to we have this given word A B C. So what we are going to do is initially all of these values they are defined as zero by default. But now we are given this A B C. So first of all we take this A we increase its value to one. Again we get this B we increase its value to one. Again we get this C we increase its value to one. Now all the other values they are zero so far. So for this particular character, we can actually create a string based on this given array of 26 words. So string would be maximum of size 26, which means it is a defined finite number, we, which means we can create that. We will get a string that looks like this one, 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 and then uh, remaining 23 zeros. Again, we are given this word C, B, A, right? So again, what we are going to do, first of all, we identify this character C. So we are going to mark its value as uh, initially this was zero. So we are going to mark it to one. Again, this B, again, we will mark it to one. And again, this A, we will mark it to one. All the other values would be zero. So even for this one, the string that we are going to generate is going to look like this one, one, one and zero, zero, zero. Now the idea is that we will create a hash map. Now inside this hash map as a key part, we are actually going to keep track of whatever the string that we are building. So let's just name this as a string builder that we are building a new string that would be our key. Now in both the cases, notice that for this ABC and for the CBA, this string value is actually going to be the same that it would be 111 followed by 23 zeros in both the cases, which means that it, they both have actually same key value, which means that over here, okay, this is 111000 23 times. But in both the cases as the value, we are actually going to keep track of a list. And inside this list, we are going to store original words that were presented as an input for this original array string that we built. So over here, first of all, we will have an entry that looks like ABC and then we will have an entry that looks like CBA. Now we already have both the values that uh, that is part of the same group or they are and which is an anagram of each other would be in the list value which means that that makes our life much more easier that in the end all we need to do is just we need to return this whatever value we have stored in the list let's do this with one of the example that we have been following so far so I'm not going to show you the whole ordeal with the array because that is too time consuming. We are, I'm just going to show you that what would happen in inside the hash set, uh, hash map. So this is our hash map. Now as a key, we are going to have some string value. So first of all, we get this value eight. So suppose for this value number eight, we get the string that looks like, looks something like this, right? Whatever the value is. Now the same value is going to look for this T and for this eight, which means that these values eight then t and 8 would be a part of the same value group inside this hash map for the same key. Again, same thing will happen for this tan and net. So even again for this tan and net, suppose we get some value that string that looks like this, right? I'm just drawing a bunch of gibberish, but you, you get the idea. 
and we will add an entry for tan and net because they both will have the same number of occurrences of characters and in the end for bat we won't have any entry so we will have a new entry over here and where we will add the value back now in the end all we have to do is just iterate over all the values that are present inside this hash map and return it as our answer and this would be the optimal solution we are going to use if we see the time and space complexity for this one the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n times whatever the maximum length of k is in terms of space complexity we are actually creating an additional hash map so that's why that is going to take some additional space but this is also going to be big o of n times k where k is, k is the longest length of any given string and n is the number of string that are present inside the given input so first of all we are going to check an edge case that if the given string is empty we are going to return an empty array list immediately okay if that is not the case we are going to initialize our hash map and we are going to take string as key and uh, list as value also we are going to initialize our array of size 26 and we are going to name it as count once that is done we are going to run a for loop across the given input string so first of all we are going to initialize our array with value 0 after doing that we are going to iterate over this given string s and we are going to add all the characters inside this given array by adding their value from 0 to 1 after doing that we are going to initialize a string builder to store the string value that we have retrieved inside this character array now we are going to run across the count array and we are going to add all the values to our string builder also at the same time we are also going to add a hash before all the elements inside this given count array and that is something per language trick that changes for python you won't have to do it once this is done we are going to assign this new string that we created as a key for our hash map now we are going to check that if this entry for this given key already exists inside the hash map if it does we are simply going to add whatever the string s that we are iterating over and if the entry does not exist we will create one value inside the hash map and then we will add this uh, value s for this given key and we are done for this for loop now all we will have to do is return all the values from this answer map and return it in the manner that is asked inside this given question so we will have to return a list of uh, lists let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's try to submit this code and our code works as expected i will be posting the solution in the comments so you can check it out from there